everyone in this video we are going to discuss about the components of OSS and BSS system which are connected to each other to have the seamless user experience okay now the first thing is your CRM and the next comes your provisioning and service fulfillment now whenever a subscriber is active right now their data gets entered into your CRM database as well as that is done with with the help of provisioning and service fulfillment okay because in provisioning and service fulfillment if you see we are having three different uh, work packages which are nothing but your network inventory service activation and workforce management now in this what exactly happens is the customer gets activated in the system after having a, a basic checks uh, that are to be done okay after that the provisioning of the subscriber happens or the user happens and then accordingly uh, it gets mapped to your CRM database now in between if you see <clears throat> there is a mediation system as I explained earlier in the videos that mediation is called as a heart of a telecom industry why it is called as a heart of the telecom industry because this mediation system is connected to different support systems as well as network operating systems now whatever the data that gets generated in your support system or in your network uh, related elements everything comes into mediation for processing so there are different logics that are associated in the mediation system which after the bifurcation of the cdrs gets rated or gets con converted into a readable format based on which the further action of uh, uh, <clears throat> what we can say rating or billing that happens okay now here if you see in the mediation system now we are seeing this aggregators data collectors uh, and uh, uh, the aggregators which are uh, connected to your switch now what exactly is the function of this now see whenever a user is making any calls or whenever there is some usage happening whether it may be your data related to browsing or voice calls or video calls whatever the kind of activities are there that all activities are recorded in your switch okay now once the uh, switch records the data then there is a cutoff that happens now this cutoff of the switch CDRs whatever the data that get generated in switch we call it as switch CDRs it is in a non readable format because we cannot just open the switch CDR and see that what is there in that there is a decoders that gets uh, uh, applied to the switch and then based on that the mediation system converts those CDRs into the readable format so here in the switch if you see there, there will be a cutoff now what is that cutoff after every 5 minutes or 15 minutes or 30 minutes based on the load of that particular switch the telecom operators they define the cutoff of the switch based on that the CDRs will be uh, means uh, uh, taken uh, from the switch and then it gets processed to your mediation in between what happens is there are aggregators data collectors now what are the main function of these whenever a cutoff of the CDR is happening that will come and sit here okay now very good example what I will give is now let's say we are browsing uh, some uh, web page or we are doing some upload or download kind of activity or you are just watching a YouTube video okay now in the process while you are watching there is a cutoff of the CDR that had happened that we don't know because that doesn't matter to us that what is the cutoff of the CDR and all right but there is a cutoff of the CDR that happened and that CDR is now sitting in your data collector. Again, you are, your browsing is not discontinued. You are continuously browsing. So now, let's say in another 30 minutes, again, there is one cutoff of the CDR that happened from the switch. That CDR will come and again, it will sit in the collector. Now, what will happen? It will see there, there is a specific time for uh, collectors or the aggregators to start applying the logic now let's say that is of six hours that depends on operator to operator now let's say there is a six hours of the time that is allocated for uh, the entire process to get completed for that particular span now what this data collector and aggregator will see that what are the cds that are available and where there is a unique id which is called as a charging id based on the charging id these aggregators what they will do they will stitch the cdr means now let's say for the child uh, let's say for example the charging id is one two three four five six now for the same charging id we had seen the another cdr also which starts with one two three four five six and there will be a basic checks that will be happen and based on that 
these aggregators and all what they will do they will stitch the cdr into single cdr because now we are having two different cdrs right with the same charging id now considering that the two cdrs will be stitched into one cdr and then it will be processed to the mediation system okay so this is the very high level function of how exactly the cdrs are received into the mediation system from switch at the same time from switch what happens there is a s7 signaling and monitoring mechanism that is put in place okay now why that is put in place because now whenever there is some uh, calls that is happening what happens the calls gets air uh, means uh, uh, routed in the air right air interface then the air interface the ss7 signaling comes into picture and there is a monitoring mechanism also that is associated which is carried out to that what is the quality of the voice or the quality of the data that is there that comes into picture in the monitoring system okay now here if you see mediation it is also connected to your interconnect billing system now in the operator side if you see there is there are uh, basically two different billing systems one is your uh, for wholesale and uh, uh, retail billing and the other is on your interconnection billing now what interconnection uh, billing is uh, whenever we make a call right there are some carriers associated to carry the call from one point to another point so those are nothing but they are make, taking a call and landing the call to a desired destination by passing that with some different different carriers so that carriers are also has to be charged and the revenue has to be recovered uh, from the user and we have to pay those carriers what are the carrier charges so those kind of logic is also applied in the mediation system and that is those cdrs are given to the interconnect billing system where based on again what are the different tariffs that are applicable for different different carriers that will be rated in the interconnect billing system now we are having this billing system okay now in the billing system if we really see we are how the process starts the CDR, cdr will be received from your uh, mediation system then it is given to your billing system now in the billing system the rating happens the rating then uh, when the cdr is rated at the same time it will look for the plan what are the different plans that uh, customer has opted or the user has opted based on that the billing of those cdrs will happen for those particular uh, subscribers users or customers then the bill is generated and then the bill comes to uh, the end user okay the, for a particular bill period the bill uh, comes to the end user and the end user has to pay the bill for the usage whatever is being done okay so that is how uh, the rating and billing happens i will uh, make one separate video exclusively for this rating and billing because if you really see the functionality of the rating and billing it is very very big okay now let's say it is like uh, uh, very very important why because this is the main system from where the revenue will be recognized for the telco operators in rating and billing whatever the type of cdr is there that has to come to the mediation system from mediation it has to go to the billing system and in the billing the rating of the cdr happens and then the those uh, information will be processed to the end subscribers okay that is how it happens again from the switch side if you see what exactly happens now whenever the whenever the users are making call right that calls are landed in your air interface where switch is connected and switch uh, is mainly responsible for uh, routing the calls to a desired uh, location based on some logics that are that are to be applied okay and in further this switch cdrs what happens they are given to the revenue system or the revenue assurance team now the revenue assurance team the main functionality of revenue assurance team is to see that where the billing leakage is happening that is one thing and at the same time now whatever the calls are there for some time uh, what uh, the operators will do in order to see the qos means the quality of the services they will make some test calls and see that whether the calls are getting successfully uh, originated or terminated or sms is getting originated successfully or terminated and at the same time data is also being checked now based on that those test calls will be rated 
okay again in the mediation system to the billing and that comes to your revenue assurance uh, team and revenue assurance team they will analyze the test calls and at the same time since they are responsible for to avoid the revenue leakage the main and the primary important function of them will be to see that whether there is a fraud identification that is happening in the cdrs or whether the cdrs are getting generated correctly and there is no fraud usage that is being done now how they will be able to know there are some logics that are there because there is a fraud uh, system from there they will collect the cdrs as well and again they will see that how those cdrs are rated whether the tariffs are getting applied correctly or not or whether there is any over rating that is being happened so all those different checks will be uh, done and based on that they will do the further analysis so on revenue assurance also uh, there will be a separate video that will be um, uh, discussed to have more in depth understanding so in this video just try to understand that they are mainly responsible to make sure that there is no revenue leakage okay now from interconnect billing also the cdrs will be received to the revenue assurance team because uh, they are the main team with the, where they need to identify that the revenue leakage is not there so they receive the results, uh, cdrs from rating and billing they receive the cdrs from the interconnect and also from ss7 uh, monitoring uh, systems uh, they will also receive the cdrs to see uh, that whether there is a billing leakage that is happening in any of the function or not or everything is fine or the tariffs or the rating is being done correctly okay so this is how the main uh, functionality of the revenue assurance team will be there and this is where if you see that the different systems are connected with each other and the very high level uh, broader perspective we had seen that uh, how they are connected and what are the different function associated in order to identify that the billing is happening correctly or there is a CRM and uh, provisioning service fulfillment system they are connected to each other because once the subscribe is activated then that information will be flown to your CRM system for further uh, order management dispute retention why be dispute retention from billing now let's say the subscriber identified that the, there is a over usage the, he is seeing or the charge no, the bill is very high then he will raise a dispute system who will handle call center call center in term what they will do there is a dispute system that will be there where they will see that what are the calls that are being made and what are different type of services the subscriber has used all those systems will be analyzed in your CRM system in order to provide the end subscriber with the reasonable justification okay so that is how uh, the total uh, uh, systems are connected to each other in order to make sure that they provide seamless connectivity to the end user along with the satisfaction of having a proper rating and the different services what are they uh, using okay so here if you see the mediation mediation is connected to your interconnect billing system it is connected to your rating and billing system it is then rating and billing system in term is connected to the revenue assurance system because this is the main uh, team who, uh, who are responsible for checking the revenue leakages of our operator okay so that is the main reason why we say that revenue assurance is very very important function okay because any leakage they will be responsible that why this identification has not happened now again from provisioning and service fulfillment they are connected to each other because there will be a flow of uh, information that happens between these two now when we discuss about the rating and uh, billing exclusively in one video uh, then we will uh, i will explain that how these are connected and what are the main uh, components that are associated in order to exchange the information between rating and billing system so that it will be very very clear so there will be one single video that will be made on this one okay so overall if you see all the usage systems bss and network systems oss are connected to each other to provide seamless service to the end subscriber all the activation to these systems are or all the activities to the systems are originated from switch and then it branches to different subsystems within the main components so that is what we are seeing here 
that we see that there are different uh, systems which are connected to each other and uh, mediation is the main um, uh, uh, means heart of a telco operator from where the total functioning or the distribution of the users starts happening where the rating billing revenue assurance interconnect everything comes into picture so this is a very very high level uh, information and in the upcoming videos we will discuss about each element in detail i hope this is uh, uh, informative and uh, thank you very much for listening to the video